All right, sometimes on your report, you want to have a different sort. Um, now, of course, you can always sort it like with the sort expert, but I want to show you something even different. Right now, the report is sorted alphabetically by country. So we have all of the Austrias, and then we have Canada and Czech Republic and France and so on. Well, this report also has subtotals. When you have a group and you have a subtotal, then you can do something really special that's called a group sort which means you can actually sort on the subtotals. If you notice at the bottom of each country, I have a subtotal. Right, so what if I wanted to sort by the subtotal? Come, follow my mouse over here, you're going to use the group sort. Now the group sort only lights up when you have a, a group and a subtotal in your report. So let's go there. Now another advantage of the group sort is this is where you can do things like the top five or the bottom five or do it by percentage. So those are other options for you. But in this case, I'm going to pick on all. Now the only thing you can group on with the group sort is the subtotal. Now uh, if I wanted the higher subtotals up top, I would make it descending. Let's see what that does for us. We'll click on OK. We'll go back to page one. Page one in this case is the chart. So we'll go to page two. Now notice how page two now has Italy whereas before it used to say Austria. Italy, in fact, goes to the next page, and their subtotal is 1196.45. When I go to the next page, then we have Switzerland, and their subtotal is 593. Then we have uh, Austria, which is 522.20. So now you can clearly see that the report is uh, sorted by subtotal rather than by the name of the group. The way we did that was the group sort expert, and then, you know, we picked all. Now, the only thing that you can sort on is the subtotal. If there was more than one subtotal, they'd be there. And then we said descending, so that way the higher subtotals will be up top uh, rather than um, sorted by uh, alphabetical.